it this Thursday morning. The Imagination Station and Dan Clements is here with some expanding soap. Dan, good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, so down at the Science Center, we like to do um, some pretty interesting things with things you, you can find at your house. Everyday household items. To me, this looks like normal bars of soap right in right. front of us. I mean, there's science everywhere, and everybody probably has soap or has seen a bar of soap before. <laughs> so I thought we'd do some experiments and see what uh, this soap is all about. Okay, please. So I brought four different kinds of soap here, and I thought the first thing we could do is put them in our tank of water here and see what happens. Okay. Okay, so why don't you start out with our first one there, Chris? One at a time. Yep, go ahead and put that one in. Uh, anything interesting happen? Sunk like a rock. Sunk like a rock. Doesn't let's, look like much is let's happening. Try the, let's try the next one. A little Irish spring. Okay. Anything, same kind of thing happening. Right. All right, one more, or two okay. more, actually. All right. We got a dial singing to the bottom. Now, here's our last one. Okay. It's our ivory soap. Ivory soap. Go and put that one in. Did you notice a difference of what's happening All there? Right. Well, uh, we had one. We, we had one that floats. It's floating up. Why do you think it's floating, Chris? Uh, density. Okay. Well, you're correct. It's less dense than our other bars of soap mm -hmm. because, all right, there's actually thousands of tiny little air pockets in there. It's called the soap that floats is okay. what they used to be the slogan. And the legend goes that some guy went on his lunch break and he was mixing up the soap and he left the machine on and now they have bars of soap that float. Okay. But... Because um, of the air pockets in because there. Because there's actually tiny little air pockets and I don't know if we can see... Um, I broke this bar of soap in half. Okay. And you can see there's tiny little air pockets inside. All right. Here, and let me grab a hold yeah. of this one for think? a second here. There's and actually teeny tiny little air pockets. All right. And it might be hard to see on camera, but we can see it in another way. All right. I actually brought a microwave, and we're actually going to microwave our mm -hmm. soap. So this hard, hard for even, I mean, you almost probably would need like a, a microscope or a, a magnifying glass to actually discern these pockets. Oh yeah, they're, they're very, very tiny. Okay. But we can actually do something pretty cool. So I'm actually going to cut this up. Now this is something that you can try at home, um, putting soap in the microwave. Um, your mom might frown upon it or your spouse, um, but so maybe get some permission. But I'm actually going to pop this in the microwave for about a minute and something pretty cool will actually happen. So, I thought you were heating up Super Bowl snacks. <laughs> well, I could maybe later on. Um, but while that's happening, okay. what's happening is those tiny little pockets of air are going to start to expand okay. because of something called Charles Law. Which All right. states that with an increase in temperature, the volume also increases okay. with a gas. Any way to kind of demonstrate this one uh, beyond just kind of the, the law itself? Um, well, we're actually demonstrating it right now inside okay. the microwave. If you look, our soap bubbles, those tiny oh, air pockets, are starting to expand. Okay, and the more the more we heat it up, it's they're expanding for two reasons. Number one, because of Charles' law, because we're heating it up and we're increasing the volume of the gas. Okay. And number two, because we're actually softening the soap. And the soap is actually allowing it to kind of stretch out and puff up. All right? okay. And you can see it kind of looks like uh, like a souffle or something, sure. or like clouds. So I can actually pull it out. All right, and from our four little cubes, we actually have this like giant puffy cloud thing of soap, which is pretty cool. And you can touch it, it's a little hot, but it feels kind of strange. It's like uh, so, dry. Uh, you know, essentially now that we've removed the, the energy source, it's sort of deflated back kinda, into. Yep, it deflated back down and we probably stretched out and popped some of the air pockets. Right. Um, but it's interesting to see, you can put this, you know, a little bar of soap in the microwave and it expands to this huge puffy thing. Right. And this is actually still soap. We didn't change the soap at all. We just no. kind of heated it up and expanded it out. All right, so you could still use that to wash your hands. It would still use it. You'd get maybe. Bubbles and stuff would, would form when you wash your hands then with the soap as well? Yeah, maybe we'll okay. form, a, we'll put it in the break room or something here. Sounds uh, good. Now, <laughs> I tested out the other ones um, earlier. Oh. And you can see the difference between our ivory soap, the soap that floats, <laughs> and uh, the rest of our soaps here. These ones are much more dense without mm -hmm. those air pockets, and our ivory soap is like twice the size okay. with the same amount of soap. A little bit of a difference there on the plate. All right, what's going on with you guys at the Imagination Station, Dan? Well, we have uh, Lucas County children, 12 and under, get in for free on Saturdays. So if you're in Lucas okay. County and bring an adult, you can get in for free. And uh, actually, our little scientist workshops are opening up in March. Okay. All right, there's only a few spots left. So, so if you sign up there. is ongoing right now for yep. those. All right, Dan, appreciate that one. Stay with us. We have more WTL of your day in just a moment.